Hello everybody and welcome to Math Today. Today is Thursday, December 10th. Wow, is this month flying by or is it just me? But we are doing math today. If you are looking for your paper, it looks something like this. It is page 44 and it says sort on the top and it also has the date that it is the 10th of December. So this is the page that we're working on, the back side looks like this. So you also need the back side too because we are going to be working on both sides today. So we have been working so much on our doubles. We've been practicing all of those pictures that we now can remember and now we're kind of working on when we see them. We know what the answer is without having to count up every time. Today we're going to keep working with our doubles but then we're also going to work with our doubles plus one. So like when we're working with numbers that are kind of close to a double and all we have to do is just add one more. So that's what we're going to look at today. So that's what we kind of do on the back, okay? So at first we're going to practice our doubles. So go ahead and get this side out and we're going to practice a couple on the board. I know we've done some of these sorts before, but I want to make sure that we know what these sorts are asking us to do. So let's go over to the board. All right, hopefully you have your paper out and ready to work together. So this side, we have to solve the ones on the top first to know what answers we get down here are going to match up with those, okay? So let's start off with our first one, which is our clovers, okay? And now these are all adding one. So we're going to plus one on them and you can see why in our little pictures, okay? So here's our clover, so we have one, two, three, one, two, three, but look, there's an extra little clover. Okay, so instead of being three plus three, we're doing three plus four because we have that fourth one right there. One, two, three, four. So we're doing three plus four. But remember how we picture it in our mind is that we see those two three leaf clovers. So we're like, oh, that's six. But then there's one more. So we can solve the double and say that's six and count on one more seven but we can use that double fact of knowing three plus three is six. We've been practicing on that so quickly to know that three plus three is six plus one more. So three plus four is gonna be seven. Awesome, so that is, that is letter box. Box A, the letter A, when we see a problem that does three plus four equals seven, we're going to write letter A in the matching box, okay? Let's look at letter B. We have two weeks and one day. How many days are in a week? Seven days are in a week. So we're starting off with seven, but instead of adding seven more, we're actually going to add eight more because there's one more day. So we're gonna do seven plus eight, okay? So what's seven plus seven? That's our double. Seven plus seven is? Good, 14, two weeks, right? 14, add one more, 14 plus one. 14, 15, count on one more. So anytime we see the problem, seven plus eight equals 15, that's gonna be letter B. Our next one is we have two hands, but then we have an extra thumb over there. So we have five and five, but one more makes six. So we have five plus six. You guys know I love the double of five and five. Five and five makes 10, and then one more thumb, so 10, 11. Count one more up is 11. That is one more on it, okay? So we just did pretty much three plus three, which is six, plus one more, seven. Seven plus eight, ooh, that's like seven plus seven, which is 14 plus one, 15. Five plus six, so we did five plus five, which is 10, plus one, which is 11. So you take that double. I know it says seven plus eight, but if I know seven plus seven and then I just have to add one more, why wouldn't you wanna do it faster, right? All right, and then the letter D is gonna be all other problems. So if it's not three plus four equals seven, seven plus eight equals 15, or five plus six equals 11, if it's not one of those three, then it's gonna be letter D. It is an it's another problem, okay? So we're gonna solve them, put the matching letter in the box. So let's look at the first one, seven plus zero. Well, that's an easy one, seven, and I count on none. Seven plus zero, it stays the same. It stays at seven. We added no more onto it. Is that one of those problems that we solved? 
No, that is another problem. So that is letter D. It kind of helped us out and traced it, so we're going to just trace that letter D. Now be careful, okay, because even the next one is a double. But if we didn't solve that double up there, then we're not going to write that letter. Okay, so let's watch. 5 plus 5, I love it. 5 and 5 makes 10. But did I have an answer of 10? 7, 15, 11. I did not. It's a double problem, but I did not add 1. So it is an, it's an other one. So we're going to put the letter D in there too. The next one is another double, 7 plus 7, 7 plus 7. Two weeks is how many days? 14 days, 7 plus 7 is 14. But did we get that answer? 7, 15, 11. Nope, we didn't add plus 1. So this is also other, letter D, it's another one. Now I think we're going to find one that's going to match one of these letters. 3 plus 4. Think about three plus three. So three clovers, three clovers makes six, plus one more makes seven. Did we do the problem three plus four equals seven up here? Yeah, we did. Which box is it? Box A. So we're gonna put the letter A in our box. Okay, I think you guys got the hang of it. Now that you've seen an example, at least with one of the count on by one more examples. So go ahead and pause me now. I want you to finish the rest of your page. It goes all the way down to here. Finish the rest of your page and then unpause me when you're ready for directions for the back side. I'll see you soon. Good luck. How did the front side go? Did you find all and sort them all out and find all of the correct answers? Hopefully you did. Fingers crossed that it went good for you and if not, I am so excited, or your teacher is so excited to help you when you come back to school to help you work on some of those doubles plus one. So the backside is a little tricky, so I'm so glad that you came back to the video to do it with me because we're going to do this top part together because it is really tricky, okay? So we are going to match up the double and then the double plus one. So we have to not only solve the double, but we have to solve the double plus one and match it up to where it's closest at. So I'll show you. Okay, so look at this first one. It kind of helped us out. Five plus five, so two hands, equals ten. Okay, and we know that, but they did help us with it. They drew a line because they're showing you that this is its friend because look, five plus six, there's the one more. It's not five plus five anymore, it's five plus six. So it's your double plus one more. So five plus six, if it's our double of five plus five, which is 10, and it's one more, what's one more than 10? 11. But we, we connected the two because this is the double and then this is the double plus one, okay? Let's look at the next one. Three plus three. We just did that with the clovers. Three plus three, what's our answer? Six, good. Now which one do you think is its double plus one? Seven plus eight or three plus four? Which one has one more than three in it? Three plus four. Four is one more than three. So that is its doubles plus one because it has the same it has the same start of it because I can still do three plus three. I can still do that double. I just have to add one more. So three plus four. Three plus three we said is six. Add one more, seven. So the answer is seven. All right, our last double, seven plus seven, two weeks is 14. And it's our last one, but we'll just double check seven plus eight. Oh yeah, that's one more than seven. So that's gonna match up. So seven plus eight, well we said seven plus seven is 14, so one more than 14 is 15. There we go, that's how you do it. Awesome! Now this side, you guys, this side is pretty much the same thing, they just switched it. They put the doubles on this side 
and the doubles plus one over here. So it's actually even gonna get very, almost the same answers. It's just switched. So can you turn that knowledge that we just practiced over here, can you try it over here? Your doubles start over this way. Can you match them with the correct doubles plus one? Go ahead and pause me now and try that. And then when you're done, come back and then we're gonna look at these. These are just doubles plus ones, okay? Okay, how did it go? Did you find them? Did you notice that they all matched up with one another? Just like they did over here, the same answers and everything. They matched up perfectly because we were working with five, seven, and three today. So down here, these little think bubbles are just helping us, like keeping in mind that when we add plus one, to remember your double. So the problem that we're really solving is five plus six, but they're saying, keep in your mind, five plus five, keep that in your mind. So five plus five is 10, six is one more. So 10, one more, 10, 11. So the answer to this is 11. So these are just thinking bubbles. These are just telling you, hey, don't forget that double. You can think about that double. Three plus four, let's think about three plus three. Clover and clover, three plus three is six. Add one more. One more than six is seven. Seven, there we go. So you don't have to write anything here. It's just helping you with that think bubble, just reminding you. You might see seven plus eight and be like, oh, that's a big number. But if you can do seven plus seven and add just one more, then you know that it's 15 and that it's not as bad as you think. And you don't have to count up all those numbers. You can use those doubles to help you get to the teens really quick. All right, you try the bottom three. We did the top three together. The bottom three, or the bottom section here in this box tells you to add these together and then to circle the double and the one that is one more in the same color. Um, you can do this if you want to in the same color, but you're gonna have to have a lot of different colors. But what you would do is, so see how they did five plus six? They circled five plus five and five plus six in the same color because that's the double plus one. So five plus five we know is 10. Five plus six, well think of my double, five plus five is 10 plus one more is 11. So those are my two that are kind of similar to one another. Let me change my color. I know that a lot of you don't have a lot of different colors, so that's okay. If you maybe just want to circle a couple that are the same, that's awesome. So let's look, um, let's see, which one do I want to do? Let's do the next one, three plus four. Which one is the three plus three? Because three plus four, I'm like, oh, three plus three is my double, which is six plus one more for my four is seven. So which, where's my double of three plus three? There it is. Three plus three is my double. Three plus three is six. So I made those in the same color together to show you that that's my double, that's my double plus one. So that's what the directions are asking you to do there. Then the bottom one are called fast ones because they're just fast math, math facts and they have the um, cent sign on them. So kind of talking about money looking to see how many cents did you get as an answer. So you get to add those up and they already helped you in label with the cents sign. So that saves a lot of work for you. Alrighty, you guys, that's all I have for math today. You're gonna finish this on your own, okay? We already circled most of the doubles facts. There's a couple more on there. So if you wanna circle those and match those up, that is awesome. And I think there's only two more maybe. So if you have any questions, let me know, but I will see you guys again soon for another math lesson. And I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you for doing doubles plus one with me today. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.